Hey, what's up? Welcome to the Dangus Dungeon. Today we're going to be doing a rematch with these Lord of the Rings commanders. If you didn't catch the first game, be sure to check it out here in the upper right. And yeah, let's go ahead and play. Hey, it's Jason again, and I am playing Gandalf the White, I'm looking to flash in as many things as possible. Hey, it's Matt. Again, we're back with Treebeard. We're going to gain some life and hit some people with trees, maybe. Hopefully. Howdy, it's Nate again. Uh, today I'm playing Bilbo Birthday Celebrant. I'm tired, it's late, I want to celebrate my birthday, and go the hell home. Brendan here again, playing Peregrine Took again. See what happens. Okay, game two everyone, let's roll the dice. I got a five. Eight. Five. Seven. God damn, man. I do it again. It didn't help last time. Maybe it will this time. Uh, yeah, why not? What's the worst that could happen? Same. I will attempt my hand. I'm gonna keep my hand. All right, Matt, go ahead. I will do that. Uh, draw for turn. Sure, that's fine. I have written catacombs. I'm gonna go fetch a tapped canopy vista, and I will pass the turn. If you had to guess, how many legendary creatures do you think are in this set? 36. Like 103. 48. The answer is 85. Holy Matt sh is the closest. <laughs> what the sh I'm gonna play a forest for turn, and I'm gonna play a happy little boy, a delighted half -life. and I'll pass. Uh, wooded foothills. I'm gonna draw a card for turn. That's a good card. Don't like. Let's play a snow covered plains into an Esper Sentinel. So the guy. Wow. Go ahead. Wow, that's awesome. I'll tap and draw. I have a basic forest, and I'm gonna cast Thalia, Guardian of Thrabian. Two on first strike, non creature spells cost one more. Pass. That kind of messes up what I wanna do. Pay three. I'm gonna nature's lore. Okay, I'm gonna draw a card because you don't have any mana available. Yep. I'm gonna grab an overgrown tomb and shock it in. I'm gonna tap this for a green and play an essence warden. When another creature enters the battlefield, I gain a life. Pass. Pass. Cool. <laughs> Let's play a snow-covered plains. We're gonna pay two mana for a soul ring. Got him. Why do you get soul ring every game? That's what I drew. I was like, what uh -huh. the fuck? <laughs> I'll pass. <laughs> cool. Untap and draw. I'm gonna play a turn timber serpentine wood face down in defense mode. You activated my trap card. I'm going to hit Jason for two. Okay. I'll pass the turn. My hand was moderately fine until Thalia came into play. Another forest. Just to make sure so it can't be countered. Bilbo, birthday celebrant. I'm gonna gain life. Just one? I'm gonna gain the second life. Yes, we've had first life. <laughs> and I'm gonna pass turn. Part of the cards, Yugi. Do you, you not have a land? I pass turn. Uh, oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna untap. We're gonna we're gonna discard a card. Oh okay. I'm gonna retap. Yeah, give me a second. We're gonna yeah we're gonna drop a pentavis. Let's play another snow covered plains. I'm gonna pass turn. Uh, I really don't want to do this, but I have the sage as a land, and I will play trigger. Trigger. Get some foods. Pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Let's play a. Reliquary Tower. Three, four. Two plus the tax for Thalia plus the Esper Sentinel tax. Three visits. Supposed to have two life from Tree Beer, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna grab a Temple Garden and shock it in because as the life gain deck, I don't wanna ever actually get life. And then I'm gonna play Sam, Loyal Attendant. I'm gonna gain two life. He partners with Frodo, Adventurous Hobbit. So I'm gonna go find Frodo. Sam says, at the beginning of combat on my turn, I make a food token, and foods cost one less to activate. Uh, I'm gonna go to combat. I will pass the turn. We're gonna draw. We're gonna pass my fucking turn, guys. <laughs> oh boy, you're you wait, you better discard your card. Before you do that, I'm gonna play Gandalf. <gasps> I'm gonna get into wow. it. I'm gonna go to my turn. Let's play another snow-covered plains, as you do. Yep, 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 yep. I'll just like pass. Uh, four mana, ping the one, cryptolith right. Regions oh, I control shit. have tap out of mana of any color of your mana pool. Pass the turn. Let's play a Vault of the Archangel. Black, white. Let's play Frodo, Adventurous Hobbit. In response, I'm gonna flash in an Offenza, Kentry Spirit. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under my control, bolster one. Then I'm gonna flash in a Founder Inspector. It'll trigger her and he will copy it. He's lowest, he'll get both. So he's a big boy now. I'm gonna go to combat. Get another food and I will pass the turn. We're gonna draw my card. Hey, look at that. Peregrine to 
There he is. Look what a play. play. He's gonna let you draw. Somebody get rid of that, please. <laughs> <laughs> because to. every turn he's gonna draw cards on uh, me. Like going forward. forward. I'm just letting you know. Let's play one for a portable hole to fuck Matt up. Been We're gonna portable. target Cryptolithrite, and also it will trigger Gandalf to pick a second target. We'll hit Frodo. I will respond tapping these two to sack a clue. Gaining three life. Trigger, trigger grows. Combat. I don't know how scared I am of the tree. <laughs> I know it's coming my way. I'm just gonna go pass. <laughs> I'm gonna draw. Yeah, Crypto Thrive would be pretty good right now. If there was one card of magic that you could just wipe off the face of the planet, what would it be? Island. <laughs> I get it, you know? Oh, fuck blue players. There are cards I don't like playing against, but I enjoy all type, different types of strategies and utilizing them, so. For me, really it'd be that. fucking Golos, okay? Because I'm depressed that Golos. You just want to erase it from your memory? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna swing at Jason over there. I'll take the first hit and see what you got. I will just make it a little bit bigger with this food. I'll be taking the six. I got six commander damage. It's gonna be it for me, pass turn. Undergrowth Stadium, two, three. Spike Feeder enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. I can pay two to remove a plus one counter from it, put a plus one counter on target creature. Or I can remove a plus one counter from spike feeder to gain two life. It enters, I gain two life. Go to combat on my turn. I make a food token. I pass the turn. Look at that. Wow, that's a forest. You're not behind at all. He has as many lands as I do, just saying. I'm gonna ramp it growth. Are you gonna pay three extra mana? With what three? Okay. <laughs> Past turn. Into your turn. Four mana. The One Ring is back. <sighs> More cards, everybody. Matt's not happy about that at all. No, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and tap it to put a burn encounter on it. I will draw a card. Pay one for a Sensei's Divining Top at flash speed, and I'll go to my turn. I'll lose one life from this, and then I'll draw for turn. I'll pass my turn. If you appreciate the content that we're creating and you'd like to support us here at The Dungeon, the number one way to do so is to sign up to become a member over on our Patreon page. Some of the patron benefits include access to our full deck lists, voting privileges for polls held over on our Patreon, and shoutouts at the end of every video to let everyone know how awesome you are. If money's tight and becoming a patron isn't the best option for you right now, we totally get it. Simply liking our videos, or subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, and commenting down below all help as well, and are totally free. Thank you all for watching, and enjoy the game. Guess I'll pay the one. Cast Velodar Umbra. Target Treebeard. I have an Arborous Elf. I gained two. I'm going to go to combat. Swing at Jason. Here he comes. I'll take my six again, please. Sure. I'll gain six. Treebeard is large. Er, pass my turn. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. <laughs> Terramorphic Expanse. Crack the Terramorph. Rub some of your bad luck up on me. Thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna go to combat. Uh, make it food. Jason, I'm gonna swing a 1-2 at you. I'll take it. Okay, go ahead. E-Witness. Wooded Foothills. I'm gonna gain 2 off the E-Witness entering. End your turn. 3 plus an additional 3. Skyclave Relic. Paying the kicker. When it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, create two tap tokens that are copies of Skyfield Rock. Figure Gandalf, I'll make four instead. It's a lot of mana. Uh, also, you're in step. I'm gonna put a bird encounter on the one ring. Mm -hmm. I will draw two cards, and I will untap. I will lose two life to the one ring, and I will draw a card for turn. I'm gonna put a bird encounter on there and draw three. Let's play a land for turn. I will pass my turn. Draw. It's a land. We've done it. I'm gonna fetch and get a Temple Garden untapped. I right, tap six. I am going to put Archon of Valor's Reach on the stack. Five, six, Flying, Vigilance, Trample. As it enters the battlefield, choose Artifact, Enchantment, Instant Sorcerer, Planeswalker, Spells of the Chosen type can't be cast. Pay three to reprieve it back to your hand. Somehow I knew you were going to have that. I will time. draw a card. Combat. In reaction to six. going to combat because oh. I'm tired of not being able to play the game. We're just going to nature claim the Esper Sentinel. Takes an additional one. Are you paying the follow. three? No. Anyway, here's three beard. Uh, send them, Jason. Three mana, or Lauren of the Third Path. Sure. Flashing in. First target will be Umbra. Sure. Mm -hmm. Second target because of Gandalf. The Umbra. only other creature or artifact or enchantment is all of my food. I will hit a uh, food token. And a response. <laughs> so I'm gonna tap the Reliquary Tower and eat the food as you go to eat it. I'm gonna gain two when it enters. And I will also flash in Scrap trawler. And I also need to trigger Anafenza for both of those. Two counters on Lauren. We'll do it on Foundry Inspector. These will double block, so I'm blocking three, four, five of it. So I'm at 19 commander damage. These will both die. That'll trigger Scrap trawler. I'm gonna grab Esper Sentinel and Jeweled Lotus. Pass the turn. 
Upkeep. During your upkeep, I'm just gonna flash in Esper Sentinel because he's a uh, artifact. Trigger Anafenza, I'll give him two counters. I'll gain two. He's back, Brendan. <laughs> Play a swamp. I'm gonna go to combat. Jason, I'm turning the gang sideways at you. Oh boy, oh boy. A 2 4, a 2 3, a 1 1, a 1 2, and a 2 2. I'll just take it. Okay. I'm gonna vault. I'm gonna gain 13. Pass. Gingerbread cabin. When it enters the battlefield untapped, I get a food token. Creating a second food token. And just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna send four at you, Nat. Why? <laughs> Why? Dude. It's your 75th birthday, bitch. <laughs> Pass turn. End your turn, I'm gonna pay one for another artifact. Implement of improvement. And then I'm gonna pay one to sack it, so I gain two life. And then when it leaves play, I'm gonna draw a card, trigger Gandalf, I'll draw an extra card. I'll go to my turn. Uh, I will lose three life, and I'll draw a card. <laughs> I'm gonna play a snow-covered planes. Mm. I'm gonna put a bird encounter on the ring to draw four cards. Let's pay one for a chromatic star. Let's play three for an astronaut's altar. Oh, seems like you're stuck between a tree and a bunch of little fucking stabby boys. We're just gonna pass, I'm gonna discard. Uh, I'll draw. That is an interesting card. Elish Norn, the mother is here. Four mana for Teshar. Gain two. Trigger and Fenza. Let's go on her. Throw down my Mangara. Trigger and Fenza. Let's go over here on Teshar. Uh, Teshar will probably do something. Whenever you cast a historic spell, return target creature card with mana value three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. We got this uh, scrap trawler coming out. I'm gaining two life for every one of these creatures, by the way. Ellis Norn is in play now. Fun time is over, hopefully. Combat, Treebeard, send that way. We'll throw everybody except for Gandalf and Mangara in the way. Before damage, I will evoke solitude. Pitching blind obedience. When it enters the battlefield, exile up to one other target creature and opponent controls. Its controller gains life equal to its power. And it'll get two triggers of it because of Elish Norn. Sure will. I have to sacrifice it twice as well. I'm going to target Foundry Inspector and Scrap Trawler. So they're exiled and I gain life equal to their toughness? Power. power. You get to go up to 20. That's all I got. Best turn. At your end step, I'm going to eat all my food. I'm going to gain 16. Going to 97. I'm going to far seek. Go to combat. Beginning of combat, I make a food because of Sam Loyal Tendit. You got a 1-1, one, one, a 1-2, one, two, and a 2-2 two, two swinging at you. Trigger Mangara because you attacked me with two of our creatures. I will draw a card. Yeah, I'll just take it. Why not? Uh, I'm going to give him all lifelink and death touch. So I'm going to give him four, five, six, seven. Which is dangerous. Pass. I'm in the danger zone. 20 commander damage, 12 life. Three visits. Or pay three. Revive the Shire. Return part permanent card from my graveyard at my hand. Create a food token. Is it Wooded Foothills? But yes, it's Wooded Foothills. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you cast your second spell a turn. I'll draw a card. We're gonna play my Wooded Foothills. We're gonna crack my Wooded Foothills. Pass my turn. End of your turn, I will activate top to look at my top three and rearrange them. Or not. I'm gonna untap. I will take four damage from the one ring. I'll draw for turn. I will play Snow Covered Plains for turn. I will activate the one ring to draw five cards. Krark, Clan Ironworks. I can sacrifice an artifact to add two to my mana pool. I'm just gonna pass my turn discarding Snow Covered Plains, Savine's Reclamation, Gold Mirror, Coveted Jewel. All right, I will untap and go to my turn and see if I can navigate two people who are presenting something resembling lethal. He's talking about me. <laughs> yeah, those grapes are poisoned. One, two, three, four. Armadillo Cloak on Alice Norn. Chanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and trample. Whenever it deals damage, you gain that much life. Go to combat. Treebeard's going where he's been destined to go. I'm going to try to reduce your life total with Alice Norn. I'll take six. I will respond two mana for a dispatch. Or four mana. He's got ward. He's exiled because I control three more artifacts. Sure is. I'll send him to the command zone. This ends my turn. At the end step, I eat the food. In reaction, three food. I'm gonna remove the counter from Spike Feeder. I'm gonna remove a counter from Spike Feeder. Gain three life, gain three life. I'm going to go into combat. I'm going to make food. I'm going to eat food. I gain four. Oh no, I could do something, but my ATBs don't work. <laughs> I'm going to sack Chromatic Star to Cart Clan, get two mana, and I'll draw two cards. Before I do that, I'm gonna pay one to top, and then I draw two. I will use one of this mana to top again. That almost works. I will tap top, draw a card, top will go on top. We'll sack one of these relics to get two mana. 
I'll go ahead and sack another one. I will use that for Kulatha Forge Fiend. Forge Master. Forge Master. <laughs> yeah, you're good. Five. Exile Bildo. <laughs> Bilbo. <laughs> uh, Bilbo, birthday celebrant. I'm gonna search my library for any number of creature cards and put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Activate only if I have 111 or more life. Here we go, guys. Somebody got a board wipe? We should sing happy birthday to Bilbo. Yes. No, no. no. <laughs> we could just give a nice little happy birthday. Okay. Just me. Good job, guys. You tried. Everyone tried hard. I'm stuck holding open the door. Neil would do it for sure, but he's... Got yeah. hands full. I'm stuck holding open the door right now. <laughs> hey, look at all these ETBs that don't work. These guys can swing, and this crater hoof can swing. Pile of irrelevant creatures. Brendan, I'm gonna swing a 5-5 five five at you in return for that five you made me lose and made this a little harder. Sam, the Essence Warden, and the Delighted Halfling at you, Jason. I'll sack another one of these. I'm gonna use that two mana and three to flash in a Solemn Simulacrum. So how many are coming at me? Three. That would trigger this guy, so I'll get my top back. I'll block the 2-4 with this guy. I'll block one of the others with Solemn. I'll take one. I'm gonna pay four. I'm gonna give them all lifelink and a touch. I'm gonna sack Solemn Simulacrum to Ironworks to get two mana. I'll draw a card, trigger Gandalf, I'll draw an extra card. Also during combat, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna flash in a Divining Top for two. He has lifelink, I'll gain two. Okay, I'm gonna gain 16 life because of Rock's Faith Mender says if I would gain life, I gain double that. So you're each gonna lose three off of Dina Souls. Oh boy. Steeper. When I gain the two off of Delighted Halfling, Jason, you're gonna lose two because of Vito. When I gain the 10 off of Crater Hoof, Matt, you're gonna lose the 10. And when I gain the four off of Sam, Jason will get you with the four. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm dead. Good job. <laughs> Heliod, uh, I'm gonna go put four counters on Heliod. End step, Crested Sun Mirror, I'm going to make a horse. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck am I Sorry. looking at? <laughs> draw a card with the gaffer. Pass. Third, untap draw. Woo! Y'all ready for this? Dun, 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 <laughs> I've never been more ready in my life. <laughs> We're gonna play killer service. Uh, you lose As two life, ETVs. I gain two life. So I actually gain four life because it doubles. You each are gonna lose one. And then Matt, go ahead and lose the four. If I'm gonna put another counter on Heliod. On end step, I'm gonna sack the food token to pay two to get a rhino token. Getting a food token. Nice. Done it. Perfect, self-sustaining. At that end step, I had gained a three or more life. I'm gonna draw a card with Gaffer. All right, last turn of the game, probably. Second to last, technically. My last turn. I'm gonna untap and draw. I have a planes. Oh, you're oh. dead. Cryptolith writes back. So is my oh. Frodo. Yeah. Combat. I'm gonna swing Alice Snorn at you so I can gain some life. Bro, I'm gonna take that. I'll gain six. Second main, Celestine, the Living Saint. The beginning of your end step, return target creature with mana value, extra less from your graveyard to the battlefield of Rexus. The amount of life you oh. gained this turn. Nice. I will go to my end step and bring my only creature back. It's Solitude. Solitude's gonna hit Feldar Sovereign. Solitude's gonna hit Vito. So these are gonna get exiled. I'm gonna gain 10 life. You each are gonna lose two. Make Heliod even bigger. Let's go ahead and make a second horse. Let's also draw a card with the gaffer. That's my turn. Pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Let's play a command tower. Let's play the math mini game. Yup. That's everything I meant. Everything, everything. Everything, everything, except for those Birds of Paradise, because it doesn't do anything. Uh, this is blocking Dina. This is blocking Sarah Avatar. This is blocking Heliod. Lock Crested Sunmare. I don't think I can survive. So I'm going to do this and make you do math. 47. And I will gain three. After declaration of blocks, blah, blah, four damage. Vault of the Archangel. Yep, 25 instances of gaining life. Uh, you each are going to lose 25 life. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still good. So while Bilbo had a very good turnout for his 111th birthday party, things might have gotten a little out of hand as there were at least three casualties. I hope you enjoyed that game. See you next time.